Okay, so off-season training video. Um, football's finished up for the year. We didn't win, but um, means back at training now and focus on getting some strength again. So kind of main things I wanted to work on this off-season was trying to get some leg strength. And like throughout the year, I probably not that I neglected it wasn't a priority for me. So um, I kind of lost a bit of leg strength. So the plan is to try and build that back up again. I'm actually following a bit of an Olympic lifting program, kind of just to give a bit of variety and something different. So I'll kind of talk you through that over the coming weeks. Um, but yeah, today's just um, an overview of what the training day looks like on a Monday, what the eating looks like, and um, everything else in between. So along with doing like in-person coaching one-to-ones and groups and teams and another big part is doing online coaching so now at this time of year there's a lot of ones coming on for their pre-season off-season programming um so i have an app which i do everything on which i send things across so monday tends to be a pretty busy day and if you don't have an off-season program in place it's something to think about getting in right now because um you've got like a nice amount of time till christmas that you can make a lot of gains in Typically what people do is they'll wait and they'll wait until their team gets an SNC coach in place or something else like that. But they maybe lose two or three months and then by the time it comes around it just isn't enough time to make any progress. So it's a good amount of time now if you're thinking about kind of getting into a training program. You can go on the Instagram page, we got some ideas for sessions there. You can go through and you can see about joining their online coaching. Um, the information will be there on the Instagram page. But it's a good time to think about getting a good plan in place and making the most of the time. Going through a warm up here, and I'm a lot of overhead work in the warm up because this session is a lot of work on the snatch, um, which is one of the kind of main Olympic lifts. Um, I think we've got some front squats in the session as well today. Kind of what I'm focusing on for the first part of this program is a bit more technique. So, I haven't done Olympic lifts really in a couple of years properly, so I kind of just want to get some technique back. Um, so, I'm not going crazy heavy on it, but as weeks progress, I start adding a bit more load dates so we can start building some strength with it too. So the big thing for me with this program and my training is trying to just give um is trying to stick with it for the next sort of 12 weeks. Um I think that's the biggest problem you see with people whenever they get to pre-season or off-season is they either start a plan and stop it or don't properly follow it. Um, and you need that progression week on week, like sometimes it can get a wee bit boring, but you need the progression each week in order to get stronger. If you're changing your workouts and changing what you're doing each week. Ultimately, you'll probably just mess about for two or three months um, and lose the opportunity to gain some strength. So for me, this plan is going to stay pretty similar um, for the next couple of months. Job done.
That session finished up, got to get ready now for some coaching here. Um, and then we've got a podcast to record tonight with a former player and coach. It's good enough. Yeah. And, uh, you know, regardless of who we think are the most talented players out there or the most skillful people out there, doesn't mean they're the best footballers, you know. And um, because for me, a package, a full package is, 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 is where a good footballer or team player comes in and is consistent. And so, again, you know, we, we see, I suppose, certain people with flashes of brilliance for five and ten minutes and gone for five, 50 minutes. Yeah. That probably won't make them any team. So. It's so. That's us finished up. Um, I'll keep trying to put up some more videos over the next few weeks. Um, if you have any ideas for things to add in or things to cover or questions, um, put it in the comments and I can check it out. Um, and make sure you check out my Instagram page, Quinn String Condition. We've got the programmes in there, you got sessions, tips for preparing for your pre-season. But yeah, that's it. Thanks for watching.